think it's actually a really smart choice for this show because I think it really raises the stakes in a lot of ways. It's really interesting to do it in post-apocalyptic because you really get to focus on the themes and like the behavioral um, differences between different classes and different individuals. It being set in the future is really just a way for us to play with costumes and set a little bit and be able to have some fun with some echoes of Elizabethan, the Elizabethan world, but not have to set it in Elizabethan world. It's also just a really exciting show visually um, with all of our costumes and our makeup and the way the set is. It's going to be really different from any other production, I think. So, for Lady Capulet, I am in four inch heels throughout the entire show, so I think that's probably the biggest thing because it does make me the tallest person in the cast. My like main color is orange, which is like my favorite color. So as soon as um, the designer presented that to me, yeah, I was like, I was like, heck yes, I'm so excited. I have this like awesome orange puffy jacket. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair orange. Like it's just super exciting. <laughs> so it's kind of like looking at Caesar Flickerman and Effie Trinket from like The Hunger Games because we are doing kind of a post-apocalyptic right. take on it with just the costumes in general. It's very Vogue, very capitalesque, very trash. Couture. It's, it's stunning. The costumes are beautiful. The whole aesthetic of all of the costumes is just really cool to me and I, I'm so excited to see it all come together. So I think having these costumes just heightens the actual human emotion we are portraying on stage. In a contemporary mindset, it's really easy to pass off this story as like two dumb kids who fall in love and do some really dumb stuff. But when you kind of put it in this setting where everything is dire, these people don't know how long they're going to live, they, they don't have much of a life outside of this world. It really intensifies everything. There's something too about our contemporary world that does not speak to the violence in Romeo and Juliet. It's daggers and swords. And for Romeo specifically, you know, when he gets banished, what is there outside of Verona? If it's post-apocalyptic, there's really nothing. So for him, on top of what's already there in the script of like now he has to be without this woman that he loves with his whole heart, there really is nothing out there in this world. Unfortunately, our, our world is filled with guns and, and they're going off all the time. And I wanted to set it in a world where there were no more guns and that we could go back to fighting with swords and daggers and that that was how you fought things out, you know, as opposed to coming and going click, click.